Sonic is one of Ryu's worst matchups. Static Manny, uh, or Manny at this point, SDI'd out of the up tilt behind him. He read that, jumped, and got the aerial Shoryuken. And I went, okay, he's pretty cool. So the way this, this, this set is going to flow, right, is that Ned is is the most solid cloud that we've seen so far. Right. Um, he has a really firm grasp on the character uh, himself. He has a lot of experience. And that's going to be a struggle for, I want to say, Mark because he's not, like, Cloud isn't his main focus. So he's going to he's gonna, he's gonna have a little bit of trouble with that. And then, obviously, Cloud versus Wario is a much, much difficult matchup for, for Wario and Daryl. And then we have the inexperience that Tony was talking about with the, uh, against, against Ryu. So I think this is the matchup where I want to say Blue Team is the underdog. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like I said, this is going to be their toughest challenge yet. For them to make it back, to fight against Leo and Zach, it's going to be really, really hard to get through this. I yeah. Because in, in doubles, like, what do you want? You want characters with setups, you want characters with kills, and you want characters with speed. Now, Ryu doesn't have the speed, but Cloud has all three of those in spades, and you just have so many great setups that Ryu has, too. I'm just really enjoying the way uh, Locus is playing right now. Like, like just the, just the, just as I said, Kevin oh, no. curse, Kevin Terrence curse. <laughs> <laughs> I braced him and he immediately dies. <laughs> and that was great from Gluten. He spot he knew that the level three focus was coming out. Spot dodges it and then just as a quick fair into the blast zone and it says goodbye. I honestly when I say that was two balls. But it was first stock, so it's okay. You know, it's not the end of the world. Correct. I just really like the way like just co not just the way uh, Locus is covering options. He's just been playing this this fortress game, this this moving wall game. But he's not also afraid of making plays. Like for example, he just look at that. That's a play right there. Boom. You notice right there a play. Yo, we were talking earlier about how teams were like playing with a certain level of confidence. Every time I see a Ryu charge focus to level three, I'm like, this man knows exactly what he's doing at all times. He's like, yeah, no, I'm gonna hit you with this, and if I don't hit you with this, I'm gonna hit you next time. That was crazy upstage pressure from Ned. He jumped all the way off the level, went for a neutraler, and then went for another neutraler. Most clouds will go for one attack and then come back immediately. He went for two, and he went. He started going deeper. And then he recovered and hit both people to make it safe. That's that's very difficult. Yeah, so you're gonna die oh. for that. He did, oh. not, he did not die, actually. Oh, that Barely, was, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna kill. You saw him pause, too. like, And then and then Locus was able to just come right up and be like, all right. Ooh! Okay, <laughs> I, I like it. I mean, they, I mean, they had the lead. They had the lead. I like it because the, the thing about the thing about Smash is that Smash is very different compared to all the games. Where like in, in Smash, you can build a lead that's larger than just a health bar. Right. Of course. Uh, so like, if you have a stock lead, it's it, it, it in more ways than another. It's more than just uh, a health bar, an extra health bar. It's it's like it's a health bar and a finisher. And when you have that ability to make plays and you can make mistakes then you can see the craziest place. You can see people going all the way off the level. You know what? I don't care if I die. I'll, I'll see if I'll kill you. Yeah. If you lose the game, if I get it, right? Yeah, they... Uh, Mark, Bree, Mark Bree and Gluto are... They're definitely on... They have to figure something out because these are not good matches for them. No. They have no. Ryu and then they have Cloud. It's like, what does Mark Bree go for here? It's like, you know, you... This is the problem. This is the problem when, when you go for... Uh, when you pick a character like, for example, like Mark B has been playing great with Cloud so far, you know, but it's difficult to keep up with it with it with a, the, a solo Cloud main. Exactly, it's very difficult. So, but the way I see that is that he's gonna have to like pretty much learn on the fly really quick if he wants to succeed, and that's not easy. As you can see, Ned immediately going for the one v one against him. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and that's the true difference maker. You have doubles clouds and you have singles clouds, and singles clouds usually can pick doubles clouds apart. Oh, barely missed. He got a little. He rushed out a little too much. I'm surprised he didn't go for the finisher there. He he got the clean up till at 120. He did seem a little high and where he is a little floaty, so he may not have connected with the grounded version, which might have been his concern there. Yeah, that he goes for it immediately. Yeah. First thing, yeah. Seem a little bit further in on the arm. It's important, like the up tilt's important spacing on there. You can go for a uh, little punch, big punch, which is light up tilt into hard up tilt, or you can just do the jumping version of it because Locus is a god. Maybe the neutral that he did was a mistake. Maybe he meant to do jumping and he made a mistake. That could have been it. I like how he's rolling. He's he's he knows his character doesn't have the mobility enough, but he substantiates that mobility by running into people and then rolling behind. Whoa! 
Ryu's alive. Ryu's alive. Yep. That's important. Oh, he might die right here. He might die. Barely missed. He jumped. He jumped. Jumped in time. But that 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 up. Uh, that should be connected. That was a little boring. Yeah, and that's so tough to get off that too. Like I mean, getting the sweet spot of the arrow sure you not easy at all. It just be like that. Ooh, that was the there correct it is. Yep, and we're looking for four three right now. Slight lead for green. Already see them doing a lot better than we saw game uh, game one. Yeah, Gluto Gluto definitely fishes for uh for a lot of grabs whenever he whenever people are kill percent. He makes it a point to go and grab you, which uh which red team is doing a really good job at spacing out of. But still it's difficult not to get grabbed. Like if someone's grabbing constantly, it's hard not to get grabbed at least once, you know, and the one time you get grabbed you die. Yeah, jump in, yep. I, I want to say Lucas is playing amazingly this tournament so far. It's really difficult to play real teams. The way he's playing is that he's playing a ton of pressure. He's walking. He's been he's been that walking ball that you want to be for your teammates. It's fine that he died there because he, he's been approaching a lot. He's been making a lot of scenarios. A lot of the kills that they have gotten in this match so far have come from him. Just like literally, I just as I say, though they're losing right now, this match is still doable because uh, Red Team is a playmaker team. They have limit. They have Ryu. And there goes and, off the dash and, and attack. Alone or not. He's gonna stall. He's gonna stall in the air. Yep. 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 That, very smart. Very smart. I like that. He did not even play the that's a great team. Great dash attack on ledge there. So you know what happens there is that if you hit Cloud, listen, there's a there's a there's a there's a point in time where if you hit Cloud when he's about to grab the ledge, there is almost like a like a window of near a second where like he can grab the ledge immediately with a B or like it takes him longer for him to grab the ledge and that makes it very easy for you to hit him. So that's why Gluto goes for the small hit and then charges the announcement because he knows damn right he's going to go over the ledge and it makes it very easy to get the down smash hit. Alright, something important to keep an eye on right now. If we do see Tilt Shoryu, the end lag is going to be punished with finishing touch. Mark Breed has every opportunity to finish the stock. Okay, all right. wow. he, ha he have to go for it. He have yeah. to go for it. Oh yeah, I mean, well, you perfect shield that, you're like, okay, I have all the time in the world to hit this. And it's interesting to see that regardless of side it killed, I didn't expect it to kill cross court like that. Because I mean, it didn't look like he had the full charge set up, and so, and you know, finishing off, you know, what was a very, very strong game too. You know, a little bit of adaption, a little bit of stage selection. Wario obviously can force his way back down a little bit easier. The way I see, the way I see this match is that Green Team adapted by heart, by heart. Red Team they overpowered them at, at, in the first game, which to me I expected that. And then on the second game is where the adaption came through. The main thing that they've been doing though is that they are getting, they're working, they're just getting more team combos in, which is the big deal. Like, obviously, it sounds like a, like a like a like a very simple thing to note when you say, oh, they're working together better. But it really is. If you look at the at the way they're spacing together, they're working together better as a team. You know how he, he goes for the cross slash and then Gluto jumps above and creates the pressure because he can't block that anymore because he got he just blocked the cross slash. So then you have to actually take the hit. So mm. things like that, they're making a difference. Oh, and beautiful. Pressure off stage. I thought I almost killed that. Oh, okay. Oh, but Ned killed him. That's a, that's a big mistake. That's a big mistake. Well, See, when you're barely 30 seconds in, and that's a Ryu stock. When your teammate kills you, two things can happen. Somebody tilts, or they, get, they start getting mad at each other. So you, you want to be careful of that. That's when team chemistry comes along. Because mistakes are going to are going to happen. Not no tournament run is smooth. 100% of the way. Mm -hmm. I like the DI off stage there from Locus. He says, I'm going to get foot stolen in this, but you're not going to get anything off of it. Get him. Oh, so we've... <gasps> okay, so there was a patch. There was a patch that came out some time ago, right? That made the Lila Legends weird. Right, where right, you right. can sometimes go on the side when you go up. So that's what happened. But, like, I want to say that looked extremely strange. <laughs> but I love how Locus... It seemed to me that Locus had... I felt comfortable doing that. Like, he's done that a, a bunch of times, so player awareness was amazing right there. Ooh, F-tilt from center, not enough to do it. It's interesting Gluto is going for these bikes off stage. And in a lot of situations, you don't want to put yourself in disadvantage like that, but they just haven't had an answer so far. The up air killing there at 150. Yeah, he was sharking him. He he was absolutely waiting for it. 
Locust really needs to stay alive. They need one more kill before he can comfortably. That might kill. Yeah, that's gonna kill. 185 though. And because see, that's the, that's the interesting thing about it. When you look at doubles and you consider who's got the most valuable stocks and who's better to stay alive, Cloud it doesn't really matter if they're sitting with rage. You're gonna get those finishing touches regardless. You know, Ryu and Warrior are both gonna benefit with it more, so it's imperative to see both Bluto and uh, Locust stay alive as long as possible. The, the, the thing is that. Like, it's really hard for, it's really hard, it's been really difficult for, uh, for Locus not to take a lot of damage. He's surviving, but he's taking a lot of damage. You see that? He, he keeps getting, he keeps getting the, the bite on, on the right side of the level, but he's staying alive at the very least. Now he finally makes it back on the stage, barely, but he's not dying. And that, you see, and he gets a kill out of that. That's important. That, that's, that's a teammate that, that's holding it down. Like, he was in this advantage stage for like over 40, uh, like 30 seconds or something like that. But still, he still got a kill. And I like that. Taking almost a full 100% and it still was not enough to focus for him. That might, he might be able to get a kill here. He waited. He actually baited that air dodge. Oh, he footstooled him out of the up smash. <gasps> Spaghetti. Oh, that, that, that might kill him. Barely did it. Oh, the waft is enough to do it though. Locus wow. needs to stay alive right now. Yeah, it is imperative for them if they want to keep winning. Back throw, oh. enough. Wow. That's, that's an annoying move to get hit by. Neutral air, neutral air, neutral air. Yeah, they finish it. Okay. Yep. yep. Probably one extra sequence more than necessary. I think after the first, the two Nairs back, we probably, or the two of uh, the Nair fair back, we could have seen it. But easy big combos. <laughs> I, I want to say that the reason they did one more repetition is because he DI'd up more than he should have, so he ended up, he went he went like a little diagonal, and then he went straight up. So they felt uncomfortable doing the finishing touch, so they went for the easy hit, and then they just did it after that, because he jumped on the platform during the combo, so that made it more guaranteed and easier. I want to say. You know, and you asked for adaption after game one, and you have gotten it. Wow. Two very convincing games from the Europeans right now. Yeah, they've been adapting really hard. This matchup was probably one of their hardest ones. And oh, look at the footstool combo! Finally, up there. He waited. He actually baited. He baited the air dodge. That's ridiculous. There's a very hype singles match going on right now, yeah. where a lot of people are very into this. Panda Bear defending home turf right now behind us, but oh, misses the cross last. It's interesting to see. I mean, it looks like Red Team's losing their footing a little bit. You know, like game one was. Absolutely dominant, but two and three. Yeah, Locus, Locus, Locus is not dying, but he's taking too much damage, so he's always off the level or doing something that's like not not helping the cost. You know, he's not dying. He's, I think he's doing a fantastic job staying alive and doing all that, but um, it's still Ryu trying to get back to the stage. It's pretty not much, the, it's not the fastest thing. Uh huh. And then and then and then Ned has to deal with two and ones a lot. Now finally a chance where they can get two and one, but it didn't work for the best. And that's the beauty of being worried. You know, you saw that first stock lost by Mark Ree, and Luto just went down into the corner. Didn't care. It was just like, all right, I'm gonna chill down here until my friend comes back with invincibility. You notice how he waited for the for the roll? He expected Locus to roll, and then immediately uh, covered that roll. Oh, I like that. I like wow, that. Wow, that was hard jab killing there. That quick kick. Beam bleed. Oh, the Beautiful. kick, yeah. Yeah, the Beautiful. kick, the kick, the yeah. kick, the kick actually hits like a truck. That's something we saw game one, too. Uh, Mark Bree running into the back end of that kick. It kills really early, too. Red team is doing okay. They can actually come back. I mean, it's 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 a playmaker team. They can come back. But the problem is that they're losing neutral a lot. Um, so far, the two games that they lost, they lost neutral quite a bit. This game, they're doing a little better in that front, which you can tell because they're getting more opportunity to play. But we're, we're really seeing both Gluto and Mark Marguerite kind of just expanding what they want to do, too. Like, there's a level of confidence we've seen build now in a game four, where they're just like, yeah, if I go for this, I'm going to I'm gonna win Rock, Paper, Scissors. I'm going to win this neutral exchange. Gluto dash attack, and then Ned got him with the intangibility frames of the, uh, the cross slash, the cross slash, and then beat, beat out the attack straight up. I like that because it will be both dash attack and grab. So it's just, it's just optimal. Oh, fortunate. I mean, that's how big that back air is all the way through Wario. That missing was a big deal. They, 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 this brings a little bit of life into, into red team, but it's not looking good for them. 
Now Locus minutes. had to help him. You see how uh, Glutzu got the grabber there? Locus needed to help him right there. The back air. Oh, he air dodged in the blast zone. That's really unfortunate. If they get an early kill on somebody, they might be able to do something. Yep. Just if they like kill Glutzu really early right now, he might die. He went for the downer. He went for yeah. it all. Focus. He might die. Oh, he, he rolled. Expect like at least trying to get like a because if he gets the shuriken right now, that's gonna be it. That's it, that's yep. it, he's dead. He that's waited, it. he yep. waited, he got him a little bit closer. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know who this Wario player is, but he was at 204 when this happened. Good lord. That was a that was a beautiful comeback by Red Team. You know, you know how like I said that he really they really need to focus on killing Gluto? Look, just immediately run up to him. I made it a point to kill him, pressure him. Glutu fell uncomfortable, fell fell down right there and then. And then Ned held it down. Ned held it down. He yeah. didn't he didn't fall. He he played very solid. He got grabs. And it's, it's really that's been the story of this team so far. We've talked a lot about how good Logos has been, how long he's survived. But the you know, the real mast of this ship, standing center stage with limit the entire time has been Ned. Yes. You know, it's one of those unspoken backup. He hasn't, backup he hasn't gotten gimp yet. No, it, it's and it's like that's the beauty of being Cloud. You can be the aggressor or you can play the backup, and he's just done it to a T when he's needed the switch rolls he's had. But for the most part, he's just stood back and been a solid teammate. And he's not, he's not, he's, he's low maintenance too, which is important. When your teammate is low maintenance, you, li you like that a lot because you don't have to actually go on stage them a lot. Gets a, gets a dash attack punish. Uh, unfortunately, it's unavoidable to get hit by Gluto, but I mean, it's good to get the hit in. He might die right here. Ooh. Never mind. Good save by Rebellion. Yeah. Or excuse me, Mercury. I see the tags. Yeah, sometimes I wish players all like, you know, I love Ned because he's actually using the net tag. Makes it very easy, very easy, right? That back here almost killed. I like how Ned stood up through the, the Gluteo, uh, Gluteo pressure and then just ran straight there for his center. He's back off stage again, but it was just really uh, just a level of confidence that he had. He's like, I can go ahead and do this. That was a very unsafe ult smash. He just sat there and kind of charged it, and then Logo just came down with the focus and killed him. That. Oh. Yeah, and then, then Gluto just kind of, you know, was doing his own thing, but that was that was a crucial mistake. Dying like that is a crucial mistake. I, I like this game for Red Team a lot right now because Gluto's is 69%. That's a... Okay, here's one crucial change that happened. Locus, instead of fighting uh, more, he's running straight at Gluto. He's making it a point to fight him. And we've seen a lot of pressure coming in for Gluto. Instead of him creating pressure, he's getting hit. Right now, they're doing the opposite. Oh man, tries to use the up tilt to beat out the cloud down air. Up tilt? Do. A lot of just little tiny hits here. No one really getting anything that well focused. Ooh! Double oh, kill. Oh, he killed Oh! Look at survived! Look at survived! survived! That's a tremendous mistake. Deep That's in the last zone. That, that may determine the five? set. For a game five? Yeah. 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 Oh wait, the bike, the bike! Love the bike. Oh my god. Love the bike. Oh my god, he missed that! Oh, oh that, was, no that, was, that, was, that was a save, that was a save, that was one hell of a save. If he ran up smash, that would have been a kill. But he's going out there for him. Alright, he died, he died, he died. That was not optimal DI, but green, okay. green team with the slightest of leads if right they now. Can kill, if, they can, if they can get two quick kills, this game should be over. For... There it yeah, is, yep. yeah. If they can, up if till, they, up if, till, if, jump, sure you. If they can kill Mark Reed, they need, they need one grab, one something. That was about to be the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life if he finishing touched off the back. I, I oh my I, god. That's it, that's it, that's it. Alright, that's it. Alright, Gluto has no has no has not walked. He has no he has if they take too long to, to do something to him, then he's gonna get the walk. Wait, don't let don't don't get up. Oh. Yeah, force smash force smash is very dangerous. Don't yeah. forget about that. With tons and tons of lag on it. Nan needs to get up. Limit immediately. They need to kill this warrior very early. They don't want him with rage and they don't want him with a walk because imagine he gets a double kill. I like that. Self pressure. Down here. Bye. Goodbye. Good night and good luck. I really enjoyed Logan's play that whole set. I felt that it was it was it was crucial. Ned was very consistent. He did an amazing job at being consistent, not getting gimped, creating pressure, getting kills when he needed to. He missed one crucial kill at some point, but then he made it up immediately by getting another kill. They did a great job. I think they played very, very solid doubles in general. That's the benefit of that B Sports glow up. You know, he's he's ready to go. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of focus being put onto this. I mean this is 
Um, we talked about how this is, you know, it's Zenodo's first big event back, but we haven't really seen Locust travel all that much recently, too. The pickup from Circa, but we hear now Circa's closing after the Evo. This is, it's like in, it's like in football when you have someone going into their free agent, the free, like the year before free agency. This is his chance to really sell himself to teams in the future. Obviously, Circa will not be his sponsor for very much longer. So having him having the chance to say, hey guys, uh, Smash Switch is coming out. Pick me up. You know, because it's it, there's going to be some more pickups with Switch coming. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like that's that's going to be that's a huge buff for free agent players. Yeah, the, the new game coming up, it's definitely going to boost everyone up for the for the wise players. You know that they uh, that they stuck with Smash Four. You know, and they they continue <laughs> they continue playing right. Oh, uh, <laughs> stuck the, through it for the very wise players, right? Uh, they're gonna have they're they're actually coming up to the gold tunnel, right? They're seeing they're seeing the reward at the end of the tunnel, right. and then um, you know when, I'm I'm gonna tell you something right now when Smash when the new Smash comes out. Sponsors are going to be looking hardcore to grab some players. So if you guys prove yourselves up to be to be worthy pickups, remember some of the best things that uh, attract teams. You know is is how how, how like is 